Hi, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to do some readings for July. Donations are accepted and welcome. Thank you for everyone who chips in and donates to the cash app that I post up for Angel Squad members and all that. Thank you guys for all that. So I'm outside with my uh, Oracle deck and, yes, my tarot deck. Like I said, I really don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it because... I want to get some messages for everybody and see where everybody's at for the next step, next level. Um, I like to be outside now. The energy is clear out here. I'm feeling lots of um, positive energy, lots of light and love around. And if you know somebody, let them know to come into this live because I have some messages to give, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to begin with cancer. We're going to ask for all messages to come from the love and the light. Only please, a spirit of love and light to surround us and guide us through this, through this energy. Uh, is it cheating if you use decks with the with the meanings written on it? No, it's not. It's you know whatever comes out comes out. But like I said, now instead of calling on spirit and this that that, I just go with the energy and I ask my spirit guides that if there's some, someone who needs a a message that we give them that message. Okay, so let's step into um cancer because I'm going to be giving you guys what what you can expect for this month of July. What's coming towards you? Love, love, career, anything that um spirit is going to have me speak on so i'm going to look into um what you're clearing from the past what is coming for you now okay all right cancer sun moon rising and venus for all of the signs let's step into it um i'm going to step into the cancer energy here cancer 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 oh cancer investments money somebody is stepping into some money here um, it looks like you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Um, or you could be indecisive about a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this is finances. I see somebody trying to invest money into some finances. And the number 10 pops up as an angel number for you. So it could be that you're not... Um, there's something that feels like it's not finished yet, I feel like, for you, Cancer. A change in the wind. There's change coming in. And I'm telling you, somebody's financially about to step into some kind of luck or abundance. And I don't know if you're um, trying to start a business or investing your money or your time into something new here. But it feels like it's going to bring some... Um, you're, it looks like you're wondering like what to do with money. Um, this could be like, where am I going to spend it? Where am I going to save it? What am I going to do with it? Okay? Um, thank you guys for whoever's buying the badges. I truly appreciate you. I did want to go live on YouTube as well. You know, Tika's working. Can you go over there, please? Thank you. Money. Oh, my God. Cancer. Wow. Cancer. Cancer, this is for you. It's abundance and luck and money. There's something here with you. You're just, I just see a lot of pentacles, a lot of money coming in towards you. Really, July is going to be one of the luckiest months for you. Um, whatever you're investing in, wherever you are, I just did cancer so far. I'm just on cancer. Wherever you're investing your time or your money into, I really feel like some new work, somebody's coming towards you with a financial offer as well. You could be, you could have been waiting for this for a long time, a long time, but it's coming towards you now. Okay. Cancer. I really, a white butterfly just passed me. So, oh wow. Again, the 10 of pentacles. Look, Empress card abundance. You are stepping into your power, Cancer. I feel a lot of empowerment energy here. Feeling like I'm <clears throat> finally stepping into that abundant state of be well-being. This this being, this has been like a time of you like collecting and gathering what you want to do next, what you want to do with your life. And I'm going to tell you, you have so much abundance here. The pentacles are all over your reading. I mean, I'm going to show you. Look at this. Look at the pentacles. Look, do you see that? Do you think I'm playing the empress down here at the bottom? Unfinished symphony, that could be something that you didn't start. I feel like music is coming into play for some of you. Something is completely changing in milk and honey. You have some kind of um, like luck coming your way, okay? This is luck, 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 and more, more, more luck. Beautiful energy, beautiful. Um, whoever's buying the badges, I truly appreciate it. Really, really, I do. Okay, let's step into Sagittarius next since I just seen that. So Cancer was... For you, money, abundance, business. I feel like for some of you, if you're starting a business, if there's something musically or, or like entertainment wise or something that you've been wanting to do, it's going to work out in your favor. Okay, let's step into Sagittarius. Quiet, they go. Quiet. Sit down, okay? Sit down, just be quiet. Okay. 
Sagittarius, regeneration. Okay. So the Sagittarius are dealing with something where they're feeling like whatever they got. I feel like somebody feels left behind here. And if you felt left behind in the past, this could be with family. If it's orphaned. And if you look at this card, it's like what you needed to clear and work on here. It's um, if you were feeling orphaned, left alone. Um, you know, it's there's a regeneration. Shh. Silence. There's a regeneration happening here. So if you felt like you got left alone here in the past, um, it feels like something's happening, like where you're re being regenerated. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you, I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm feeling a bit of like sadness, like lack, you know, feeling like lack. But there's something changing here with if you were left alone in the past, there's something changing with that. And it's coming to regenerate you, restore you. So whatever it has been making you feel broken in the past, right now it feels like it's restoring you. It's regenerating you, okay? Let's see what else we got here for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. Um, I'm seeing an Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini. There could be an ending here that happened that's keeping you um, kind of down a little bit. Or maybe you're feeling like... There's a lot of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here, okay? So, again, whoever's buying the badges, I truly appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Three badges, but thank you. Um, so, Sag... If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini left you or, or has walked out of your life, or it could be just someone who, who um, has those kind of like um, qualities, somebody who could be kind of cold, kind of unemotional, you know, um, it feels like now like you're being regenerated and restored. It's like, I feel like for some of you, you forgave someone or you gave something up, you let go of something and you felt like this person wasn't giving you the love that you wanted or this situation wasn't giving you what you wanted and this could be in life with money with career with person whatever it is it's you're clearing that like you're regenerated you're being regenerated um there is a need for you to be strong and go deep within here because the ships are coming towards you you have sh the sh like you're looking out into the distance you're waiting for the blessings to come in and the blessings are coming in you're just you've been waiting for a while for this so it could feel like it's taking forever but you need to be poised and wait for your um wait for your blessings to come in because they will come in Okay, you just have to be patient with it, okay? Be patient, Sag, because whatever you're clearing right now, it's actually that clearing that you're doing right now is, is what's bringing you to the next level, okay? So whatever you're leveling up from, that's a clearing that's going to happen for you, okay? <clears throat> Let's step into Virgo energy. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. If someone could keep track of the signs I've done, I did Cancer so far, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Virgo, chop wood, oh, hello, all right, Virgo, chop wood, okay, all right, let's see what guy here, Nino, shut up, zip it, I said, I said zip it, okay, wow, okay, all right, Virgo, Eleanor, go before I call mommy. Move your ass. Monkey. All right. So, um, Virgo, I'm, what I'm pulling for you here, I'm just going to say, if there's someone playing games with you here, it's like you're working on yourself. And if there's someone playing games with you and this person feels like they're like playing games, like they go back and forth with you and they keep going and going and going. Look at this brat. They keep going and going and going and you keep asking yourself, why? Why is this happening? You need to really free yourself from this individual, from this place thing, whatever this is. It feels like it could be like okay your heart is being so loyal right it's so loyal and you want the truth and it's like you're not getting the truth from someone and this could be a taurus virgo capricorn or it could be aquarius libra gemini a leo comes up aries leo sag um you could be wanting like some truth from somebody but you're not receiving it is what i'm feeling for you and it's like all of that, asking yourself, why did this happen? Like, this has to end. Whatever this is, it has to end. It's like, got you, it, like when I say it's got to... If this is someone that you're helping a lot, let me tell you something. There's going to be a spiritual awakening here, an awakening meaning that some kind of truth is going to be revealed to you, Virgo, and you're going to figure out something, and it's going to free you, free you in every type of way. Because let me tell you, somebody feels like they were just like going back and forth, playing games is what I'm hearing. 
And this could be an like if you could put this into your situation, whether it be with love or financially, somebody was playing games with you, okay? And when it comes to an investment here, there's a new beginning with something that you're going to want to invest in and you, you put your time into. So just be aware of the people that you surround yourself with because there is a co-creative co energy here. And so if someone seems like they're playing games from the jump, they're playing games. If they bring about frustration and anger because my nose got itchy right there, then you need to drop them immediately, okay? Immediately, okay? Let's step into Pisces energy. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, you guys, you can still sign up for those classes if you want. You know, there's a lot of people signing up. We got about, I think, 25 people already signed up, confirmed it, and sent the payments. Like I said, it's pay as you go, so you don't have to worry about, like, paying all at once, okay? It's $25 a class. All right, guys, let's step into Pisces. Pisces energy, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's step into Pisces. What's the Pisces got going on here? Spirit, please, what's this Pisces got going on here? You're welcome, you guys. You're welcome. Well, if, like this, this is what these classes are for, and I, I was guided to begin these classes for everyone because I went through all this stuff myself, and I've gotten to a place where I feel like I'm pretty comfortable. I'm still learning, obviously. You're always learning. If you really want to advance, you got to keep learning, keep growing, and, you know, <clears throat> you have multiple uh, spiritual awakenings. It's not just going to be one. All right, Pisces, what's going on here? Right. Pisces, why are you feeling like you, like this house is not a home? Why are you feeling like you're not, you don't belong? Like you, you like almost like, you know, it's like an alien being dropped off on earth, on earth and saying, go make it work. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel like the, the Pisces are feeling right now. Like, I don't connect with people. People don't understand me. I'm like, <clears throat> so out there. I'm like otherworldly being con compared to people. And it's making you feel like, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. Why do I feel so disconnected from humanity? And I'm trying to connect with them, but I'm more connected to the stars, the, the sky, the, the planets. Like, that's how you feel. I'm very connected to planets. And it's like, there's something here though. Here's, I'm going to tell you. Um, so definitely Pisces um you're either experiencing something with love or it's like, here's the thing now when I say love doesn't have to be like a boyfriend or a girlfriend it could be a family it could be something like that almost like somebody was like like you're giving your all to this this energy whatever this is and it feels like this person oh there's like a ah you fucker some kind of bug just flew right. It was walking right towards the cards. And I don't know what kind of bug it was because if it was a specific bug that I knew, I would say look up the spiritual meaning of that because it walked right on the cards. And so, like, I just flicked it off. <laughs> I don't like to kill bugs anymore, even though bugs are annoying. <laughs> but, um, all right, so Pisces, maybe, you, okay, I see. Okay, there is something here with a relationship karmically that somebody was dealing with, a magician type of energy. Now, this is not for everyone, but there's somebody who keeps you worried. I feel like this person doesn't, of course Gemini. um maybe there's someone okay all right so how am i seeing this i'm seeing this as somebody worried over someone focused and concerned about somebody who was definitely doing something that was i'm gonna say like kind of mm, shady a little bit you know that's the like the lies the manipulations the deceit type of energy okay so this doesn't have to be a love interest it could be someone who you felt was your your twin friend flame soulmate family member right but they feel like they almost karmically like you have to clear this up there's an ending coming to that and it looks like some kind of partnership is coming in with somebody and it's going to be a very happy happy partnership focusing more on um here's the thing because i see here on the top with the oracle cards that you have like no place like home unfinished symphony be flexible you feel orphaned and you feel like you just this house is not a home you don't feel comfortable in your own home sometimes i feel like for you i definitely feel like you feel like you're not a part of this family is what i'm hearing um like this is your home your home is in the sky you see that like that's your home you're like up there you're a dreamer you're a pisces right and then everybody else is like so like I don't know, they're low vibrational, I guess. I don't know if that's the word. I don't want to judge nobody, but that's what I'm feeling. Like a low vibrational type of energy, okay? Um, thank you guys for the badges once again. All right, let's, um, so Pisces, it's like getting that level of like knowing that, you know, yes, you are a different thinker. You're out there and yet people don't understand you and I get it. And if there is something with love or somebody that you were dealing with that was a past energy, this person had to go anyway. So thank God you let them go, okay? Let's step into Leo. I just heard Leo. So let's step into Leo energy. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for all of the signs, please, Leo. What messages do we have for the Leos, please? We bring truth and clarity to everyone, please. Only truth and clarity, and we thank you for your messages. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right, so there is definitely a, a, a masculine energy somebody is dealing with here. Somebody is bringing you some kind of truth and, and a friendship. I almost feel like, okay, there's a beginning here with a higher power. It's a new beginning. And I do feel like if there was something with love, again, we're dealing with somebody who could have been, you know, I got the... <laughs> This is why I like to do oracle cards because it's like um, I'm I'm actually looking at both the light and the dark here. If if you, like the way I'm seeing this is that as like the light and the dark Leo, so it feels like what this like energy of like the magician energy because this could be a manipulative person, but it also could be somebody who's stepping into their power. Um, you know what I mean? It could be two different aspects of that. Um, but the three of swords that comes up here, it's like stabbed in the heart, broken, like but somebody like walking away from you, and actually that walking that person walking away from you them breaking your heart brought you complete happiness and clarity in some form or another i don't know how this is but it came out <clears throat> to a beautiful oh wow i'm so sorry joe deli i'm a scorpio i just lost my husband i'm 22 i found him dead and we have a two-year-old so broken he was a leo i've been with him since i was 13 he was he overdosed he 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 died of a heroin overdose joe deli no judgment, no judgment here. Um, yeah, because I'm seeing somebody in the bathroom laid, laid in like between the toilet, and I just had a vision of somebody like in the bathroom by the toilet, and and um, you know the sink. I'm seeing them in in between both of them. Perks, okay, yeah. So it's an opioid, yeah, opiate. Sorry to hear that, baby. I know a lot of people got lost. Fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, he probably thought it was heroin, heroin, and he took fentanyl. That's what it was. He did it intentionally think, um, thinking he was taking perks or that, and it was fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. God bless you. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, that's terrible. That's terrible when a person, you know, they, especially if somebody hasn't been doing something in a while. Look, okay, let's put the focus back on the cards here um, because um, 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 cause I'm already starting to hear things. So I'm just going to say I'm here and I'm sorry, but I don't, I'm not here and I'm sorry. Like that. I'm here and I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. And like, there's nothing for him to be sorry, right? Because it was a mistake and, and things happen. But hopefully like we could help him learn lessons on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, all right. Um, okay. Okay. All right. So, um, Pis uh, where, pff, Pisces, <laughs> Leo. Um, so there is something here like connecting to a higher power here. You really need to connect to your higher power. I'm just going to say, because whatever is happening here, there is a male energy, like I said, and, and there's a Leo that comes up here, um, a partnership and a loss here, right? But like, this is like a loss in love. We could be talking about a loss, like what she was talking about, or a loss in love, a loss in that kind of energy. Um, if someone's looking for peace and the truth to be told, it's like they're trying to figure out the truth. Okay. So now you need to step into that, um, train of thought where you're imagining things going good in your life there's also if some of you oh my nose is so itchy now okay so if there is something in the home where you're not cleaning up or now this could technically mean clean it up right clean the house clean your area um, I feel like organization needs to happen, whether it be in the home or in the, in work or wherever it is, clean it up, like clean it up, meaning clean it up, clean up the surroundings, the, the, the areas. Okay. Um, uh, connecting to water will be important for you, Leo. I feel like that strongly is going to connect to Leo, uh, to Leo. I just said that, um, I'm getting like tapped on the nose here. I don't know what that means, but, um, look, I do see a Pisces, a Scorpio or a Cancer. They're just like, very like mm -mm, they're not come they're not like you're holding on to it and you need to move forward like what if there's someone who asked that question whatever you're holding on to move forward don't ask how they're doing don't ask what they're up to because they don't give a fuck what you're up to or how you're doing so i'm just gonna be real honest with you and keep it really a buck with you guys okay so you don't sit here and wonder okay all right let's um step into taurus energy taurus 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 i'm on rising on venus Taurus, what messages do we have for our Tauruses, please? 
Um, I don't know if Jean is in here or anybody, but if you see the, if you could do the timestamps, you guys. I can't. I don't. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to do timestamps. But okay, Taurus. Oh my God. So we got um, happy, happy, happy. Thinker, imagine. Uh, angel number 44, 20, and 26. Okay, you add up those angel numbers. Okay, Taurus, you're going through a great transformation here. There's regeneration. There's, um, somebody's trying to kind of communicate with you. It could be in the astral. It could be in the spirit world. Uh, it, they're leading you to your community. Um, so I feel like you're if you were in a commu if you were feeling lonely before, this person, whoever this is, could be a spirit guide, a spirit, 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 um, spirit, spirit, a loved one. I, um, uh, um okay all right this 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 is a person who's trying to help you okay so this is a person who's trying to bring balance into your life i do see it aquarius libra gemini or taurus virgo or capricorn um cancer scorpio pisces and i feel like this person is uh, uh they might be younger than you but i feel like this person is very emotionally Maybe they're not too, the most emotional. They could be karmic, like catching you karmically, right? If, when we're talking about this person, but when we're talking about you, because there is someone coming up here on the left-hand side. When we're talking about you, I'm seeing like a regeneration, happy, happy. Come to the edge, a new beginning, right? Oh, I'm, I'm getting bit by something. Um, come to the edge, a new beginning. Somebody's leading you towards your commun community here. So you have a community coming towards you, you know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know if you're feeling like you need to find uh, your community, the people that you connect to, but I feel like you're going to find that. This is coming towards you. It's like if you're feeling lonely and lost right now and you're not really sure what's going on, um, you're being guided towards your community. Whoever this person was that was karmic that you actually defend yourself against, I'm almost seeing like a blockage, and you're, you think about them sometimes, you worry about them. Whoever this was, you thought it was going to be like together forever, but no, you were pouring all your emotions into them. You thought they were... You twin flame they ended up not being and thank god for that because you cutting them off is bringing you true happiness okay awesome great perfect all right what was that what did i just do um taurus okay let's step into aquarius hi guys living light to you all aquarius sun moon rising and venus aquarius sun moon rising and venus aquarius sun moon rising and venus i'm an aquarius moon treasure island co-create Okay. Aquarius, chaos and conflict, co-create, treasure island. Okay. Um, the number 33 comes here with chaos and conflict. So it's like if there you're trying to level up for something here, Aquarius, I'm feeling like this this might be the time for you to understand that. Um, if you, you... You have a leopard here twice and an owl showing up for you. A leopard, an owl, and a sea turtle, and a, and a zebra, a horse, zebra... So a zebra horse thing it's a zebra it's a zebra so you have these spirit animals showing up for you because this these this deck doesn't have many but you have a lot of spirit animal around you um aquarius a lot of spirit animal a lot of wise knowledge around you very sturdy very um poised energy very strong and very quick energy around you very strong very quick energy around you and you know um there's something that you're going towards treasure island slow and steadily right you're swimming through it and you're going towards your treasure island you're gonna find seek that wisdom and and something here with um higher learning higher power um go the distance take it to the next level if you feel like you need to learn something new this is the time for you to learn it okay let's see what we're dealing with here when it comes to love career finances all right somebody could be dealing with a cancer a gemini or an aries or an Aries. Wow, my nose is so itchy. Can you stop? My <laughs> something like feels like something's tickling my nose. All right. Okay. Um, that happens to me every time I get into the readings. Um, my nose just starts itching. It's a weird thing that happens. Like almost like spirits. Like we're here with you. Look at us making your nose itch. <laughs> So Aquarius, um, I am feeling like when it comes to the love situation, let's talk about the love situation. There's balance coming in. It's like you're beginning a new, 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 new energy here. Somebody's coming towards you and this person is going to help you finally like move to your next level. I do see a Gemini again. I see a Leo here. I see a um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a Cancer at the end of here. Somebody's not giving you their attention and love. So maybe you're going towards the wrong... Okay. So what I just heard was somebody has someone who's like madly in love with them, wants to give them everything, but they're paying attention to this person who doesn't pay attention to them, who doesn't treat them properly. <clears throat> if I could explain to you how itchy my face is, like... 
it's so crazy. My whole face is itchy. Like, I just want to scratch, like, my cheeks and everything. But it's, like, because there's a lot of energy here. And I can feel it because I can feel it. I'm, like, blah, 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 like, right? So, but, like, there's, like, a lot of energy around you, Aquarius, is what I'm feeling for you. I don't know if you know this, but... Some, okay. So if you feel Aquarius sometimes, like things can get draining and you feel like overwhelmed and uh, you got to clear the space around you, okay? There could be a lot of things around you, okay? A lot of people, a lot of energy, a lot of spirit animals, children, spirit children, I'm hearing as well. Um, if you have children, uh, they're, they're attracted to your children, not bad spirits, they're good ones, they just want to play with them and all that, but oh my god, I'm like itchy everywhere, I don't know, I do see, like I feel like somebody just scratched my hand or grabbed my arm. Alright, let's step into Gemini, Gemini. All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do we have? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. You could you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, Gemini. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here as well. These cards just fell down. Let me see. Okay. Mm hmm All right. All right. Um, there's, there's some kind of formal decision that was made. Okay. Um, so I am feeling somebody, uh, toxic. Uh, I am seeing three people here. So I don't know if those three people were people, somebody you were with and they were cheating on you or you were cheating on them, something like that. But there's three people here. And when I'm seeing that, I'm seeing that here is a toxic energy that you, you, you've cut yourself off of. Okay. You've cut yourself off of it. So I don't mind. Um, you've cut yourself off of it. I, you, it's like I'm. I'm just gonna say I saw. I saw somebody catching someone on their phone, and it's like not even like physical cheating. I caught like somebody. I caught. I feel like I just caught somebody on the phone, like, and they're texting shit that's like in, inappropriate, and it's like, oh, really? It's nothing. It's nothing. But it's like I, that was your last straw. Like I've, like you know, I'm, I'm getting that. Like I've had it up to here type of energy because it's like feeling like. You know, you really thought this person would be your soulmate, and but like, <laughs> no, um, no, they just brought about like some kind of like irritation to you, maybe like disruptions into your life. Or, um, but when I am looking at the Oracle deck, that was for somebody there. Um, there is some kind of victory though for you leaving this person behind and finally stepping into your own life and what you've been wanting because uh i'm feeling like this person oh my god my crown chakra is so itchy um if like i'm itchy all over my head and face for some reason that always happens to me when i step into these um readings okay um I really do feel like you left someone behind or you feel like you got left behind, okay? All that glitters is in gold with this person. So you, you really thought they were your soulmate, but you need to be flexible and recognize that there's something better for you out there. So I, I if anybody's feeling that energy, like they got left on something or... Um, you know, there's something happening here where you're going to be happy. I feel like this is going to step you into your final happiness. So whatever this was, whoever this was that left you, leaving you like that in the dust like that, they have actually brought you more happiness, which you don't understand by that. So by that moment, like you might think that this person is like, fuck them, I hate them. But guess what? They brought you to your spiritual enlightenment, your awakening. You know, you're setting the boundaries now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do um, Capricorn. Does anybody know which sign I, signs I've done? I know I did Cancer. I know I did um, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini. Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Gemini, and Sagittarius, right? And Leo. So we did seven signs. Okay. Um, if anybody could write that down, what I just did. Um, I, I should have had people. Okay, seven signs done. All right. I, I, I pretty much have a great memory, so it doesn't matter anyway. But, okay, let's step into Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. Why, why, why are you always dealing with somebody shady as fuck? Why, oh, why? Capricorn, why is it every time I got to come up with this fucking lover's card and all this coming up for you? And it's always somebody who's, like, shady or you left something shady behind or... Uh, it's like you cut something out, you were trying, somebody was around you only for the sex here, it's like you had to guard yourself and defend yourself against this person, you really thought that they were the one for you, but really they ended up being cold and stubborn, I bit my tongue saying that, so somebody is experiencing that right now, I don't know, is anybody experiencing this because I just bit my tongue saying that, um, it feels like you, you, 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody left you in your feels here, like in a sort of type of way. But wow, 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 wow. Regeneration, new life between the worlds, milk and honey. So whatever that was going on, it's like brought you to the flexible you, that beautiful, oh, exchanging gifts. Look, I don't know what's going on over there in the past or whatever, but it's coming towards you. I'm just going to say some beautiful new life energy between two worlds, being able to... Um, so you got a soulmate coming towards you. There's serendipity, a chance meeting, a meeting that's going to happen. That's going to bring you. It's the fates and serendipity. At once you're not going to go round and round anymore. Serendipity. Somebody's bringing peace towards you finally. Something that you. Uh, this is a past life soulmate that's coming in for review, and this could be in a good way for you. I feel very, very beautifully. The never-ending story. Truth be told, there's something you're going to blessed. Okay, beautiful, beautiful time to go okay you're going to either travel or take a trip there's a serendipitous meeting here okay and i just said that and i looked up and it's 444 and i just saw zen had written down 444 there's a serendipitous meeting here something that you've been waiting for you've been wanting this capricorn because all this past energy uh-uh i'm not even about to 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 go back to that shit that shit is crazy you know what i'm saying um so all right all right, so let's step into um oh you just moved to atl and lord all right let's step into scorpio okay scorpio 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 king of swords the emperor's death card and the Ten of Pentacles. How am I reading this? I'm reading this like cutting, cutting out someone. Family, mother, somebody cut ties with their mother. Somebody cut ties with their family. Somebody was dealing with like shadiness and in the family there's some some family secrets here and the dog just barked when i said that um somebody's like being greedy and not helping or selfish something with greed or this is very toxic very karmic uh i think it feels like you were helping someone constantly this could be a mother energy or it could be like a yeah, and it's, there's worry there. There's worry there. You were helping someone constantly over and over and over again. Like, helping, helping, helping. But now you need to move on. There's no clarity there. I'm seeing, like, confusion and, and illusions here. Somebody was, like, stealing. I don't know. This is, like, a stealing energy. But, like... Is it stealing? It's, like, a, like, like lies or some kind of lies happening here. Let's see why. What's going on here? Uh, all right some like somebody needs to like leave a situation completely because it's very karmic the wheel of fortune staring at me in the face i feel like it's attacking me right now really really i feel like this fucking card is attacking me um like the universe is trying to bring forth to you a new uh a new direction a new life and this right here is like the family whatever that's going on it was not working out for you this is very very karmic very toxic i don't like it at all you know what i mean but it's like that chaos and conflict is bringing you towards your treasure island moment so come to the edge begin a new imagine the life that you want and go towards it find a new community and stick to a new higher power okay because whatever you're focusing on now it's not working out it's not working out scorpio so it's time to move it's time to move and it's time to move i said i was gonna say move on but time to move came out okay so there could be a big message in there okay awesome you ended it don't go back to it remember when you set your boundaries don't go back to them because then you're just that's not creating boundaries that's like saying whatever you know what i mean all right what do we have now libra okay libra All right, we got Aries left, right? Aries and we got Aries left after Libra. And then what else? There's one more after that because I know I did 10. This is uh, Libra is going to be 11. Wait, am I bugging? We did Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Leo, Okay. 
All right, Libra. Let's get it. Thank you for buying the badge, Maya. All you guys appreciate. I did just did Taurus, yeah. Okay. So, um... All right, so... Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. <sighs> somebody was dealing with somebody very stubborn here. Somebody who wanted to control things. Um, this could be a Gemini person, Aries, Leo, or Sag as well. Um... Somebody, like, wasn't speaking the truth, I feel like, almost like, and it kept you down. Like, you trying to make you see the negative instead of the positive. Somebody could be influencing you and uh, influencing you to stay in the negative instead of the positive. You know what I'm saying? This could have been a Leo energy as well. There's a Pisces that comes up here. There's something here with um, finances and money coming in, a decision. Yeah, there's going to be a decision that's going to be made here. Um, you might not, like, accept this offer at first, whatever this is. But I feel like somebody was dealing with somebody who was kind of, like, stuck up. I don't, I don't know. Stuck up is what I'm hearing. Not for you. Go the distance. Yang energy. Yes, yeah, like, uh, this divine masculine. Well, I'm going to say masculine energy, not divine masculine. They, they were trying to, like, keep you locked down, I almost feel like, here. Okay? But you need to find the feminine energy within you and mend that broken heart because the fairness that you deserve is going to come towards you. Um, all you need to do is keep working on it. There's a building blocks energy here. This here and now energy that you need to experience is going to be where you um, you do things by the book and maybe look outside of that because you've been you have a very loyal heart. You always get that Libra, always. So you need to breathe and realize that there's a change coming in for you because there is some that somebody who was holding you back i feel like okay there was somebody who was holding you back here and i feel like you finally decided to like let go of this person because this person was really they had like a holding energy on you and i don't like that you know what i'm saying so let that go like set those boundaries and keep them okay keep them forth but for july i feel like for you what's coming in is like some kind of work abundance is happening with you some kind of new energy for july is going to change for you and you're gonna here's the thing whatever and whoever was holding you back i feel like for july just get ready for that release okay i feel like this is like the last bit of it it's almost like the um you know when you like i don't know saw something and dust comes off on you you can wipe the dust off you know what i'm saying the dog all right and we got aries now and i think that's it right is that it after aries did the dog just jump or am i jada Jada. Hi, baby. I know you crying. She's such a cutie. Okay. I never liked big dogs in the house, but Jada is half pit bull, half greyhound, and she made me fall in love with big dogs. Um, Aries. Patience. Hold on to, for something. Don't 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 rush into something you, your intuition is there's something with finances here don't rush into it that's what i'm hearing for you or whoever's watching right now because i feel like this message is for more than just the aries people um there's something that you want to do but don't rush into it financially there's something that you wanted to do um yeah she is she's very cute um there's something financially that you wanted to do, but you are letting go of some burdens here and some chaos, okay? There is a wish fulfillment coming in. Something that made you feel trapped and bound finally is like you're taking the reins and you're taking control of it. And I feel like you're finally, oh, blessed, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There is some, hey, look, man, time to go, blessed, all that glitters. I'm going to tell you, clean it up, serendipity. There's something that's meant to be. You're going to meet somebody. I don't know. Um... I am hearing, I am hearing, hearing a Virgo, 717, look at that shit, go to the sea, the fates, there's something faded coming for you, Aries, really, there's something big and faded coming for you, and yeah, I know, Rams, I, last night, that full moon release, like, look, man, the dreams I've been having have been taking me back, way back, I'm like, what the fuck is going on in my dream state, 
right. But I see things, you know, happening and unfolding and I'm letting things go and changing. And Aries, it feels like that for you. And I just said that in your um, read. So I really do feel like if you're feeling stuck, like you couldn't move on, this is the time where you're finally going to be able to move on. Look, whatever has been holding you back, please don't allow it to, please. You guys, I love you so much. And I want you guys to know that I, I don't, I, 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 all I know is I go with my intuition and the messages I give to everyone. I just pray that you understand that I get them from my heart and you are moving forward here. You really are. You're going to move fast forward. So I, like I said, don't rush into things because there's something, um, an awakening coming for you guys. And there's some kind of like messages coming in or something is like, just don't move too quickly when it happens. Cause you know, remember all that glitters isn't gold. So if someone comes at you with an opportunity that sounds too good to be true, it's probably because it is. Okay, I love you guys so much. I love you. I hope you enjoyed those messages. They were quick, but they were um, necessary, right? For the month of July, like what is, you know, for those signs that you've seen and there was things that, that sounds like, oh, but you know, I want to hear positive stuff. If I talk about it, it's because that's what you need to release in order to enjoy your positive stuff, okay? And um, these fucking nails won't come off for shit. All right, I love you guys. Love and light to you all. I will see you later. Remember, if you want to sign up for the classes, you can still sign up for the classes. Again, um, People are putting $30 down and like verifying that they're going to be in the classes. And then every time a class is, you can send the $25 every time. And it's every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. And for some people, if you're like, I don't have the money this week and I send it next week. I'm not a grimy bitch. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. I know you're going to pay it. Like, that's crazy. Like, I don't, I trust people. And you know what? And if they don't, that's on them. You know what I'm saying? It's not my karma. It's yours. All right. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye.